In this video, we will take an in-depth look at departments within the stock area of the web portal. Departments and products are both required in order to use Register. At its base level, a department is a product category that contains items and services that you sell via the Register. To manage departments, click Stock on the top bar and click Departments from the sub-menu. The main window will display a series of buttons for adding departments, as well as importing and exporting your departments. This is then followed by a search area and finally a table containing all of your departments that have been created. You can edit an existing department by clicking the pen icon, delete a department using the trash can and view its products using the list icon. To create a new department, click the new department button and complete the department form. You must first give the department a name, select the parent department from the drop down list if it is a sub department and enter a unique department code. When creating departments, the system will automatically create a department product. We must select a tax code for that department product. You can then enter an optional description and set if the department appears in the plus product browser by clicking either yes or no. Finally, we have the option to add an image to the department. To do this, click the white button and locate the image on your machine. After selecting the image, click open and the image will be displayed on the department form. Click the Save button and you will be returned to the Department List screen. If you need to add multiple departments, it is typically quicker to do this via an import. To import departments, you first need to prepare an import file. This can be done by clicking the Download Template button. The web portal will prepare a file to work with. Click the Download XLS button and open the file once downloaded. Then click Yes on the Info prompt. Your import template will open in Excel. Click Enable Editing and maximise the column width. You will see a table with the same elements we saw earlier on the department form. Enter the information for all your departments or copy it across from another worksheet. The only difference here is you must enter the word Yes in column A in order for the web portal to import each department. After entering all your data, save the file ensuring it is set to an XLS document. Moving back to the web portal, to import our department file we just created, Click the Import Records button and click the white button to launch the open window. Navigate to the location on your machine where your file is. Select the appropriate file and click Open. The web portal will first check the contents of the file to ensure the data is valid. When ready, tap the Import Departments button to start the import. After the import is completed, tap the Close button. We will now see all our departments listed in the table below. If you need to edit your existing products in bulk, you also have the option to export your departments. To do this, click the Export Records button and the web portal will prepare your file. Click the Download XLS button and open the file once downloaded and click Yes on the Info prompt. You will see an Excel spreadsheet with the same header we saw in the department template file. The only difference is all the department information has also been entered for your existing departments. You can make changes to the departments but cannot change the department number. After setting the Import Department column to Yes, save your changes and you can import the file as we did before. You can also edit individual departments within the web portal by clicking the pen icon. This will load the department form where you can change any details including the department number. After making your changes, click Save to return to the department list screen. To delete a department, you must click the trash can icon and confirm the action within the prompt. You can only delete departments once they are empty. If you try to delete a department containing products or sub-departments, the web portal will prevent the action and display a warning. You can view the products within a department by clicking the View Products button. This will take you to the product screen, but only the products within that department will be displayed. From here, you can carry out any task you normally would on the product screen. To return to the department list screen, click the Close button. If you cannot locate a specific department, you can filter the department list using the search tool. You can search against the department name or code. To do this, click the search departments area. Enter your search criteria and click the search button. The search status will display how many results have been found and the table will update with the matching departments. Further information on managing departments can also be found in your user manual. And if you still have any questions, please get in touch with your solution provider who will be able to offer further assistance.